Hi everyone. Um, I don't know if I've already done this tag or not, but I thought I'd do the top five lip products um, because it's Sunday and I'm feeling really lazy. And I'm sorry that the lighting is really yellow. Everything looks really yellow on the screen that I'm looking at, so it probably looks yellow for you. Um, the lighting's a bit odd today. It's really dull outside, so I've had to light myself with a lamp. Um, and T-Rex lamp is not that great. So, he only does 40 watts, so you know, uh, this is my complexion at 40 watts everyone. Um, but anyway, um, my top 5 lip products, because I felt like it. Um, number 1 is um, the Vaseline Rose, what is this, Rosy Lips. Um, I battled with myself over choosing a lip balm to put in this category because um, an honourable mention is Carmex, which I am never without, because when my lips are sore, there is nothing that makes them feel better like Carmex, because the menthol in them feels like soothing and makes them feel better and less sore. But um, I really like this. This is amazing. This is awesome for when you don't really, can't really be bothered with your makeup. Well, like today, actually. Like, I really can't be bothered with putting on much makeup today so I've just got a bit of blush, a bit of um, mascara, a bit of lip, uh, obviously put some eyebrows on, put some, put some eyebrows on, um, yes th these are my these are my Sunday eyebrows, I have um, a pair for every day of the week. <laughs> now um, this is one of those really lovely products that you can just put on on a Sunday and you can look really put together and really lovely um, without much effort. Um, that's what I like. and um, It's really similar to the tinted lip conditioner and Popster but it's a bit more sheer but you can see it has a little bit of colour and it just makes you look a bit more put together and kind of bright, bright like a pixie. I had a bit of tissue there to wipe my hand on but I couldn't find it. Um, bright like a pixie. And the second product I love, um, this is one of my first, I think it's like my uh, my third ever lipstick, so you know, and um, I act <laughs> I hit this into my teeth when I was using it, so it's rather sad looking now, but it is the most popular lipstick by um, from the Hello Kitty collection, um, and it was re-released at some point, I can't remember when it was really re-released, um, but it was re-released with a collection. But it's a really, really lovely kind of um, berry toned, sheer, I don't know, it's just a lovely purpley toned red colour. And it's so lovely on cool skin tones, especially if you're looking for a darker lip which isn't... Why would the sun come out? Why does the sun come out when I've managed to get a lamp in place? Why? Um... It's one of those lovely colours that if you're not ready for red, it's a really good colour and it's really good in winter as well. But um, I haven't been wearing it so much recently, but it's definitely one of my favourites. I have used a fair bit of this um, and loved it. Um, it was my staple going out look, um, going out lip for a while. I used to love it with um, a, lo a lovely neutral eye, especially um, using Femfi or femme fi, if we're going to speak actual French, if we're not then we're going to say femme fi because it's pretty much the easiest way to say it. Um, femme fi by MAC, um, which is a beautiful kind of yellowish champagne colour, so it looks really good with a neutral eye with femme fi as the base. Um, I'm not sure why it does, but I just really love it with a neutral eye, it's so pretty. Oh, you bastard. Um, sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to swear. Um, yeah, so this is my second favourite. And then another favourite lipstick. I've only had this since January, but it's already replaced um, my Maxi Sheer, which I used to wear every, every, every day. And it is the Guerlain Lipstick Gloss in Grenade des Îles, um, which is a really lovely natural coral pinky colour. Looks really orange on here though. It's not that orange, I promise you. It's really similar to Seashear, except it's a bit pinkier. And um, this is such a lovely formula. It's a Kiss Kiss stick gloss, so it's really, uh, it's got a bit of a sheen to it, which Seashear 
doesn't have so much. I mean, it, seashear is a luster, but this is like a luster, what a luster wants to be, I think. Um, also, I really like the smell. Um, I'm one of those people that really likes that kind of waxy smell from lipstick because it reminds me of when I was little and I used to steal all my mum's lipsticks and try them on. Um, so I really like the smell, uh, the waxy smell on lipsticks. But I really like this because it's got a bit of a sheen. It's just a really quick, I really like the fact that it's slim because it's really easy to just whack on. Um, and it's just a really pretty colour. Um, and I bought this for like £8 in the sale. So I don't even know if it's still available, but I am gutted if it's not, because it's really pretty. Why would the sun... Why does the sun come out when I've sorted out my lighting? Okay, um, the next one is Max Dubonnet. The reason that I haven't put NARS Red Lizard into this, and I've put Max Dubonnet, is the fact that I can wear this during the daytime, and NARS Red Lizard... I don't dare, um, I still feel a bit scary in it, and I would rather not look terrifying during the day, I mean I think it looks awesome as a vamp look on a night out, you know, really nice black liner, some black, some really nice high heels, but for just during the day when I'm, you know, slumming around in a pair of Converse and a pair of jeans, I think it's a bit much. So this is probably the most wearable red I've ever found. Um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. It doesn't look obviously like a great colour in the tube. It looks kind of like a brownish red. But when you put it on, it looks really, really lovely on cool skin tones. So I love this. I'm running out of space on my tissue to rub it off with <laughs> Um, it's also, uh, what I really like about it is the formula, because it's an amplified cream. It's kind of like, um, it's a really creamy lipstick, it's really soft, It's but it's got the pigmentation of a matte lipstick, so it's really well pigmented and it's really soft and creamy, and um, it does keep my lips a lot more moisturised than the other ones, so I really do like this formula. And the last one is a relatively new addition. Um, and you know that I'm not the type for lip gloss, in fact I pretty much am anti-lip gloss. I think I own, I think, I own four lip glosses. Um, I really am not a lip gloss kind of girl, but I do love this. Um, you've all recently seen a swatch of it anyway. But it is the Illamasqua, um, sheer, no, Illamasqua Intense Lip Gloss, and this is in Bizotted. And this is the most amazing pigmentation I've ever seen in a lip gloss. I mean, I've just put a tiny dot on my hand and smudged it across. And it's this lovely kind of pinky red and it looks amazing over all of my red lipsticks. Um, and it gives this lovely sheen, lovely glossy finish that, because I'm not a fan of the matte red lip, which is for me, it just makes my lips look dry and horrible. So, um, I would much prefer to have a, a glossy red lip, so if I'm going to ever wear a lip gloss, I'm going to wear this one, and I definitely am going to buy this again, it's amazing. It's not very sticky to me, um, and it stays on for quite a while, and the pigmentation, I've never seen pigmentation like that in a lip gloss, so I really love this. Um, I suggest you all check this out, um, especially if you're cool toned, Dubonnet and Illamasqua Sheer Lip Gloss, love! Um, so, um, that was quite a hard tag to do, but I will show you my honourable mentions for this category. As you already know, Carmex was one of them. Another one was um, the e.l.f. Mineral Lipstick in, what is this, Ripe Rose, which is really like an amplified cream formula from MAC. As you can see, it's kind of similar to Sea Sheer again. It's a really nice everyday colour that I can just slap on with no, no thought and it will go with everything. Um, but the reason I didn't pick it is because the, it was slightly edged out by um, the Gola lipstick because the colour of this is a little bit dull and not brightening enough, but I do love it all the same. Um, but the formula for this is fantastic, it really is brilliant. Um, I've been meaning to do a review of this, I've done one on my blog, but I'll do a video of you soon because I've been meaning to do it for ages, but I love this. And then the last honourable mention is something that I brought really recently, but um, I put it on. I've got it on today actually, and I love it. It's brilliant. Um, it is the Sleek Makeup Pout Polish, and um, I'm surprised actually. I only bought this because I'd left my lip gloss at home, 
and um, it's it's a fairly obnoxious pink, I'll give you that, but it looks really pretty for those days when you don't want to wear much makeup. So if you just have a rosy cheek, rosy lips, you can get away with pretty much nothing on your lids. And that's how I like it, because it's a Sunday and I'm feeling pretty lazy. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video, maybe you found it a little bit useful, not too rambly. I think I'm quite rambly today. Um, so... See you tomorrow for something of substance. <laughs> See you then.